so
Hi, Ernie. Ter Teresa Elliott, the chief engineer. Alan Warren on the and Alan Warren on the public utility board and business customer manager at Portland General Electric. And Mike Nesco on the public utility board and conservation field coordinator with the Audubon Society of Portland. And Brandy Tuck, the executive director of Portland Homeless, Homeless Family Solutions. So, uh, who would like to start off? Okay, hi everyone, I'm Randy. I am the Executive Director of Portland Homeless Family Solutions, and I'm here today because Char and uh, David asked me to be here to talk about uh, a new program that we're bringing into the Lentz uh, neighborhood. Our organization is Portland Homeless Family Solutions. Our mission is to empower homeless families with children to get back into housing and to stay there. Um, our roots go back to about now, so I'll just kind of share a little bit about who we are, a little bit about our project, and then I'm happy to chat and take questions and answer anything that you might have. Um, so our roots go back to 1994 when a group of volunteers started the Goose Hollow Family Shelter downtown Portland in the Goose Hollow neighborhood. Uh, that shelter was run as volunteer only for several years, and then PHFS, my organization, Portland Homeless Family Solutions, took over running it in 2008. Um, and since then, PHFS has continued to grow into a large, well-respected social service agency that serves about 200 homeless families with children each year to help them move back into housing and provides shelter uh, to families who are experiencing homelessness through the Goose Hollow Family Shelter at the First United Methodist Church of Portland and also at the Family Winter Shelter at Congregation Beth Israel. Combined, we have been providing shelter to 105 moms, dads, and kids every night of the year. Our really, our flagship program though is to help families move back into housing. So we helped last year 653 moms, dads, and kids move back into homes. We also do homeless prevention, where we help families who have 72-hour eviction notices get help keeping their housing so they don't have to experience homelessness. And we teach life skills classes to help families learn new skills and tools they can use. Um, and so I'm here because we just bought a building on Southeast 92nd and Tolman. It's about a block south of Woodstock, right there by the, everybody knows the tidy dining right there. Uh, historically, it was a Russian church built in 1962, but about five years ago, Team Challenge International bought it from the church and had been running it as a residential inpatient men's addiction treatment program. And so they sold us the building because it had become too large for what they needed. Uh, it's a 16,000 square foot building with eight apartments. Uh, they had men living there, but it was a, a very large space, so they sold it, used the proceeds to buy a smaller building in Estacada, and they relocated all of their programs there, and they're already up and running and good to go. Uh, so we first went to this building in December of 2017, and we put an offer in, which was accepted. We spent this last spring doing a lot of testing and inspection, and we took ownership three weeks ago. We plan to spend this summer doing some renovations, like installing four showers, putting in some new wood floors, ripping up some old carpet, painting, building a playground. Our goal is to open to families this fall. And so that's why I'm here. As we pre prepare to become your neighbors, we want to make sure to be here with you all to share our ideas, answer questions, get feedback. Um, I recognize that this neighborhood has had some uh, struggles recently with uh, organizations in the city trying to create shelters. Um, and I know that you were frustrated and I totally validate that experience. And I want to make it very clear that we want to have a very different kind of relationship here. We want to be collaborative, transparent. We want to have feedback back and forth. Um, and so that's really important to us and is one of the big reasons why I'm here. And so, I'll tell you just a little bit about the property. So we uh, will be able to triple the number of people that we serve. We are serving eight families at a time at our Goose Hollow Family Shelter year-round. At the new shelter, we'll serve 26 families at a time who are experiencing homelessness. 
Each of those families will have their own private bedroom. So this is going to be a very kind of different kind of shelter. It's not cots and rows in a big room. It's 26 individual bedrooms where the families will each have their own room with beds and dressers and real furniture um, so that it's a much more dignifying experience. We'll be able to expand our housing and prevention programs. Um, and we'll be able to offer life skills classes, both to the families that are in our programs, but we want our services to be open to just individuals in the community who want to learn about parenting or renting or if they want to come and get help with prevention or housing. Um, we also, I mean, we just we really want this to be a community space, so we want to have movie nights and community nights, and we just really want to have it be a welcoming environment. Um, we're really interested in this space uh, because it's for, for a few big reasons. It's closer to where the families that we work with actually live. Our programs are all currently downtown, and many of the families that we work with have never even been downtown, maybe just to go to court or jury duty once. And so by moving out to this neighborhood, we're closer to where the families go to school, where their jobs are, where their grandmas are. Um, one of the other appeals for us is the building.